Hello Aries! Happy birthday and welcome to your April 2014 Rune Scope. My name is Amanda. As always, be sure to watch the video for your rising sign as well. That can give you some more information on what may be going on for you in April. Or you can schedule a private consultation with me. I do those on Skype. They are $65 for a half hour session. Just email me at the address below this video if you want to set up an appointment. Um, if you have been watching or following astrology uh, and watching the other videos of astrologers on YouTube, then you probably have heard that April is going to be a rather intense month. In fact, I've heard four or five call it the most intense month of 2014, and that's for everyone. I, I really haven't really haven't heard a, a, a forecast for any sign that's going to be exempt from that. But let's dive into April Aries and see uh, how this is going to play out for you and what your focus will be during the month of April. Hopefully forewarned is forearmed for, for anything that may be coming up. For most of you, I see that there are going to be surprises in relationships. Now, this doesn't have to be an emotional partnership, but I mean, it could be a business partnership. Uh, but it looks like for most of you, this will be in the area of your personal life. So relationships with uh, boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands, wives, or family relationships, uh, brothers, sisters, parents, um, children. It just looks like there's going to be a surprise that comes out. Something's going to kind of um, blindside you in a relationship of some sort. For some of you, this could be that someone who has been in a relationship and you did not know about it. Um, so if you have a child, it could be, and maybe you, they're not allowed to date or, or you're not, uh, you know, you don't feel they're old enough to do that. It could be that they've been hiding that from you. Um, I do think that this is going to cause most of you to take action to make a shift or a change. So whatever you find out in April, for some of you, this will cement a partnership. It will make it stronger. You know, it, I mean, it could be that this, if this is a newer relationship, this is just something from someone's past that you did not know about. And, um, you know, I, I don't think you're going to be overly thrilled with it <laughs> because I do have the card of, of, of disappointment or, or surprise. Uh, secrets that are, um, you know, shocking. It's, it's got a shock value to it, wh whatever comes out. But um, for some of you, though, this could this could cause you to to leave a situation, uh, leave a relationship, or just take some time out, back away from uh, this particular relationship, whether it be you know romantic, family, um, whoever this person is. You just may need to take a step back, or you may completely walk away. April's kind of a make or break month. And um, that's definitely what the planets are saying. And along with this reading, that's, that's what I'm getting. But again, for some of you, this could, this could be in a good way. It could, be, it could clear the air. It draws you closer. So, I mean, it just depends. Definitely um, watch your rising sign for more information about that because you can probably get some more details on how that's going to specifically play out for you. But I do see that, you know, whatever conflict occurs... It does send you in a new beginning in some way, Aries. So, and it could be even if you end something, there's some, there's another area of your life where something new is starting. So if this is like, if this is a business issue, then you may be starting a new relationship. If this is a personal relationship, then you may be starting a new job or starting uh, a new career path. Uh, but it looks like there will be people talking about you, Aries, in April, uh, whatever decisions you make or, or, and it could be maybe that, you know, People are siding with this other person against you in some way, and you may be the subject of gossip, but I mean, you know, you, you don't really care about that sort of thing. It's not really going to phase you all of that much. Those of you, uh, a lot of you will be able to speak to your mother about this, or a, or a mother figure, an older female figure, older feminine energy, because this can, this can be, you know, of course, a gay man as well. Anyone in your life who, who you go to for advice that is a more feminine energy, will be able to help you through this and kind of talk you down. I, I mean, I feel like there will be, um, you know, just saying, you know, this too shall pass. And, and, and what you need to hear, that things are going to get better. Things are not going to stay like this. You've just had a surprise. And, um, you know, maybe other people are, are, maybe they don't have all the information and they're unfairly talking about you or, or thinking this was your fault in some way. But the truth will out. 
Uh, it will come out, and I think that's going to happen before the end of April if you are the subject of gossip. I, I think you're going to set people straight. And you're going to do it in a way that is, um, you know, whether or not there's an argument or an outburst early on in April, whatever this kind of uh, hidden secret or, or uh, argument may be, Aries, uh, you are going to, at the end, smooth things over. You're going to be able to get back on a uh, good footing and, and, and smooth things out. So when this does happen, don't be overly, you know, uh, freaking out about it because you are going to be able by the end of the month to smooth things out. It, this has to happen, whatever this is. This is information that you have to know. You don't have it right now. It's going to answer a lot of questions, though, about the past. And that's what I'm getting very clearly for you, Aries. Um, be careful driving in April uh, because this card reversed uh, in addition to meaning uh, difficulties with communication can also be uh, accidents and things like that. So please be very careful. Uh, please do not drink and drive. Do not, do not take any risks while driving in April, Aries, because, you know, something always watch the other person because what I'm seeing is like someone can just come out of nowhere if you're not paying attention. And that could cause some problems. I don't think, I mean, you're going to be okay, but who wants to deal with insurance and all that kind of mess and getting a car fixed or getting a new car? Uh, so just please be careful in April. And those of you who have been having, if you get distressing health news in April, there is a solution. And by the end of April, that's going to be worked through. Some of you, this may be a sick relation. You may have a relative who's not doing well. That also, I do see a recovery. So however bad it may get in April, there is hope at, by the end that there's something new coming in. There's going to be a solution to this, and I see this person getting better, whether it's you or someone that you care about. As far as advice for April, try, you know, when things are out of our control, there's nothing we can do about it. Any kind of worry or, 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 you know, distress, you can throw things, you know, you can break things if you, if you feel the need, but ultimately it's out of your control and that's the feeling of April. So if you can just go into it knowing, okay, I'm just going to kind of just sit here and let everything flow by, let everything kind of, you know, bump me along, but I'm not going to take any action or react until this passes. I'd give it a couple weeks whenever, whenever, whatever this is happens. And, and indications I'm getting are that the third week of April are going to be very, very, um, the stressful part. So if you can wait until into May to take any actions, you know, after whatever needs to happen, happens. I think that some of you, though, may feel like this has made you vulnerable. Whatever this is, it may make you feel vulnerable and just uh, unprotected in some way or uh, visible in a way that you don't want to be visible for some of you. But there is someone that you're going to be able to go to uh, for help with this. For some of you, this may be a legal situation. You may go to speak with a consultant, an attorney, a therapist, someone about this. I mean, this may be something that is just very jarring to you and you just need to talk to someone about that. Definitely seek this person out and state your feelings because they're going to have some wise advice for you or just again going back to this someone who's going to say something in the um in a way that you need to hear it at that time be careful with unexpected pregnancy because we, i do have fertility cards here and that can be you know what's more jarring than that <laughs> so definitely be careful aries uh if you don't want to get pregnant and if, if anything seems amiss in that area, ladies, you know what I mean? Definitely get a test, check this out. Because, uh, you, you know, this is obviously information that you need to know. Just want to make sure I throw that out there. As always, when I get all these fertility cards in one reading. What can't be changed about April Aries is that all of the maybe chaos all of the uh, changes that maybe you don't like at the beginning are actually pushing you are going to be for the better. So whatever they're p getting you out of or pushing you towards is positive for you. It's what needs to happen because you maybe wouldn't go this other direction without this push. So if you can keep that in mind when you're saying, oh my God, I hate this, or I can't believe you just told me that, or I can't believe I just found this out, or I can't believe my car is totaled, um, 
you know, this is all happening for a reason, as most things do. Some of you may be dealing with issues around family, and this has come up for you, Aries, really since the holidays. So it could be, if this was a family member, that the whole family is thrown into just kind of a, a bit of chaos. At the same time, though, it seems like maybe this needed to happen because maybe this was put on a shelf and wasn't properly dealt with at the time that something occurred. And now this is just kind of the repercussions of trying to sweep something under the rug that needed to be dealt with. Sweeping things under the rug never solves anything if people don't talk about it and get their feelings out and, uh, you know, discuss things. There's always resentment. That just, that's how resentment builds. You just kind of push it down, sweep it under the rug, and uh, continue disliking <laughs> what was done, disliking what was said. But again, the, the negativity... Or, or anything from family needs to happen so that you can get to a new beginning, get to a new place with this. Don't, any pushing though, if you're pushing someone to deal with something that they're not ready to deal with, that's only going to make matters worse. Even though you'll be coming at it from a, we need to talk about this, we need to straighten this out. And this could be a partnership as well, a, a, you know, a relationship. But I, I feel for a lot of you, this will be happening in family, you know, you wanting to talk about something and the other person just not the other person, either avoiding your calls or avoiding your emails or just, um, you know, ignoring you and ignoring your feelings, which is hurtful because, you know, when, when, when we're hurt and we want to talk to someone about it and resolve it and they just kind of discount your feelings, um, that just makes it worse, doesn't it? And, and that may be what you're dealing with for some of April. Aries, I'm sorry to tell you that, that someone's going to be treating you that way. I do think it's temporary. I don't think that's going to continue. Um, I think by May you're going to be able to at least get this back to some semblance of normal. Something that resembles the way it was before, if you want to. It could be that maybe you need to walk away from this person for good. It's up to you. But again, I hold off on making decisions like that, anything final, until May, till the dust kind of settles and you're able to uh, really kind of gauge and, and, and weigh things and, and, and know what has happened and how you want to move forward so that you can kind of analyze things, have some quiet time and look at things. I do think, though, that by end of April, early May, you're going to things are going to be better in some way than they were when April starts. So again, you're crossing the abyss, yes, through April. But by the end, I do see something new, and uh, I see that a compromise will be reached, whatever this is, for those of you who want to work it out. Again, though, some of you will not want to work it out. Some of you will walk away. But for those of you who do want to work it out, not saying there's not going to be some issues and, and things to deal with, but I feel like you will be able to come to terms with it by the end of April and deal with that going into May. Some of you, I do see you being invited out for your birthday being, or being invited to a party or, or, or a gathering that will just kind of help you take your mind off of things. For you guys, if you've had your eye on a, a lady that maybe you haven't really um, approached yet or really done anything about if you've been crushing on someone, end of April is an ideal time to ask this person out. Make your feelings known. Declare yourself. For those of you who have been holding back, and, and again, if this was a partnership issue, maybe part of the problem is that you haven't really declared your feelings. Maybe you feel that you have, or maybe you feel like you've sent enough messages and Aries, you're normally pretty, pretty forthright. You're pretty uh, out, outgoing uh, and forthcoming about your feelings when you're into somebody. But maybe this person just needs it in black and white because maybe they're just not getting it. So I, I do feel like at the end of April, that would be a great time for you to express this. Just get it all out there. Maybe this wouldn't have happened had this person known how you really felt about her. And I'm getting a, a male-female type situation, but ladies, the same can apply to you. Make sure that you are being blunt, because you Aries can be blunt. I know you can. I think that, you know, while at the beginning it may cause someone to be like, take, take, be taken aback for a little bit. Maybe they won't get right back to you, and that'll have you worried. I think though the end result, you'll be very happy about. I think you'll be successful. Any delay. Uh, you know, and, and maybe this is all part of this 
test in April is that you have declared your feelings and you're waiting for someone to figure out what they want, figure out what, uh, what their response is going to be. And then by the end of April or early May, because I feel like you'll be talking about this or there'll be communication about this going through uh, to, the, to the following month. That, and it's gonna be positive. It's gonna be positive. Again, there's some things to work through. For a lot of you, there may be some disappointments regarding um, a job offer or a job situation by the end of April. You may be, some of you may be looking for a new job, looking to change jobs by the end of April. Cause maybe this gossip situation was more of a work thing or coworkers. Um, you know, and, and again, coworkers are a partnership. I mean, that is any kind of relationship. If this, if this was centered around work, it could be that you decide to uh, look for a new job. Some of you may just up and leave in April, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> if that's a work situation, you may just be, and you may not be the only one though that does that. It could be that some of you find out that some of your good friends are leaving a job some of your your allies are leaving a job and that leaves you feeling kind of oh, now I'm gonna be the only sane one here or, or maybe it's just really negative there and you don't want to be without you know some friends and allies so um, I think you may end April Aries a lot of you looking for a new job a new project you may be looking to start your own business and some of you may be consulting with uh, a, 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 an attorney or someone to get kind of a legal slant or a legal idea of what you have to go through to start your own business. How much capital you would need, that sort of thing. You may be talking to someone. You may be talking about, to someone about going into a partnership or uh, just kind of brainstorming ideas by the end of April to, because you're really going to be ready for change by then. And I think a lot of you will be making change in May. So April is kind of, I got to come through the tunnel and get to the other side because all of the new stuff is waiting over there. And this all kind of has to happen before you get there. So I'm sorry your birthday month is, is going to, is fated to be the most stressful one of 2014. But I hope that was helpful and maybe that will give you kind of a map to go through their Aries. Uh, happy birthday again. Definitely take time out on your birthday to have a few drinks and just ponder what's whatever has happened, however this works out for you. And I will see you again in May.